the National Coronavirus Command Council has decided to enforce a nationwide lockdown for 21 days with effect from midnight on Thursday the 26th of March. This is a decisive measure to save lives of South Africans from infection and save the lives of hundreds of thousands of our people. While this measure will have a considerable impact on people's livelihoods, on the life of our society and on our economy, the human cost of delaying this action would be far, far greater. Back in March, I first heard that South Africa was going into lockdown on the radio. My family and I were driving back from Cape Town late at night. I noticed that fog started to form around us. We had no choice but to slow down. At first, I didn't think much of it. Now, I realize that fog carried something symbolic. Like our car driving through the misty fog, the country and the world were entering a point of no return. And the way of life as we knew it was about to change forever. forever, forever. The outbreak isn't showing any signs of easing down. Experts warn the number of new cases will surge in the coming weeks. The four provinces with the highest number of confirmed cases are expected to see an even bigger spike. Social distancing. Increased cases. Increased deaths. Deadly coronavirus. Stay at home and protect lives. The coronavirus continues to spread and spread. We are in uncharted territory. 10 million people infected with COVID-19 worldwide. I have a message for young people. You're not invincible. This virus could put you in hospital for weeks or even kill you. Even if you don't get sick, the choices you make about where you go could be the difference between life and death for someone else. Where, where, where do we go from, we go here? from here? Do we go from here? During this pandemic, many of us have been asking the same question. Will we ever go back to normal? I feel like it is a wrong question to ask. What does it mean to be normal? Not just on a societal level, but an individual level. Is there a certain list of qualities that a person has to have in order to be considered normal? If there's one thing this pandemic has shown many of us, is our humanity and what makes us human. I've asked myself, is it normal to live in a world where being different is frowned upon and seen as something shameful? Is it normal to live in a world where people are discriminated against and killed due to the color of their skin? Is it normal to live in a world where women don't feel safe to go out as they live in fear of being killed or raped by men? Is this the normal we want to go back to? I hope not. Despite all the pain and hardship this pandemic has caused the world, why don't we use this time in quarantine as an opportunity to not only heal as individuals, but also help the world heal as well. Instead of going back to a world of the past, why don't we work together and create a world that we all want to live in? A world where being different is embraced. A world where all races and backgrounds are seen as equals. A world where women can feel safe to be themselves. It's natural to feel afraid about the unknown. But the best thing we can all do right now is to do our part and then we'll get through this. Together. <laughs>